You might say our ideals are like headlights. They light the way ahead. Without them, we are lost, unable to make decisions. With them, we have a good chance of success. We need clear, strong ideals. Let's consider popularity, the ideal of Jeffrey Moore. If I only had a car like that, I'd really be popular. Everybody would want to be friends with me then. What? I'd be the most popular guy at school. Nothing like a flashy car to make a big impression. How about that, Stu? I know one thing. June, it sure looked good driving with me in a car like that. June knows how to dress. Not the best looking girl in town, but, well, everybody likes her. And going around with her is bound to make me popular, too. Oh, good old mother and dad. Now, if dad keeps his promise about letting me have the car tonight... Oh, but he will. Dad never breaks a promise. Yes, sir? Folks, you can be proud. That's one sure thing you need to become popular, huh, Stu? <laughs> I'll bet Ed Anderson's proud of his folks. Gee, I wish I had his popularity. If people would only crowd around me like that. Maybe, maybe if I kept his photo there and, and I tried to imitate him, well, then I'd be popular, too. The only difference between us is that, well, he's captain of the football team. Well, someday I'm going to be just as popular. Hmm. Pretty snappy stuff. Well, so is mine. Let's see. Shirt right, tie right, and coat right. Well, can't be popular unless you know how to dress. Boy, with this new sport coat in June, I'll be the hit of the class party. Well, Dad, I'm ready. How about the car keys? Oh, Jeff, Grandma fell and hurt herself. Well, we'll have to go and stay with her a few days. Are you ready, Mother? You're right. I'm ready to go. But, well, Dad, you promised that I could have the car. I'm sorry, Jeff. This is an emergency. You'll just have to use the bus tonight. It'll take a couple of hours to drive down. Dad won't be back in time. Dad, you're not going back on a promise, are you? Jeff, you can't have the car, and that's final. Well, how can I take Julie out in the bus? What do my friends say? I'm sorry, Jeff. Don't stay out too late. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, but you promised not. just don't want me to be popular, that's all. How can you take a girl out without a car? <laughs> You'd keep your word, wouldn't you, Stu? Oh, I'll never be popular, I guess. Well, there's only one thing to do. Jeff, I'm almost ready. Listen, June, we can't go tonight. I, uh, I don't feel well. I'm sick, see, and, and it, it happened all of a sudden, and I've, I've got to go to bed. Oh, I'm sorry, Jeff. Of course we won't go if you're not feeling well. I hope you feel better soon. Bye. If ideals are weak or poor or vague, difficulties become frustrations. Judgments are hard. The road ahead is lost. Too bad when it seems your parents let you down, interfere with an ideal. But what about an ideal like popularity? Oh, well, but isn't the freshman having a night out stag? Hey, don't you guys ever have dates? Maybe if we had fancy clothes like you, we could go out. 
Yeah, that's a pretty sharp oh, jacket that's... he's wearing. You're right. Yeah. The trouble with you guys is you don't know how to dress. <laughs> if you wore the right clothes, you'd be popular too. <laughs> you were popular? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know? <laughs> Tell me, if you're so popular, how come you're not at your class party tonight? I can explain about that. With another lie, I suppose. Well, look, uh, I had to come down here to get some medicine. What medicine? Well, uh... I can't understand the way you're acting, Jeff. All right, June, it was this way. I couldn't get the car for tonight, and, well, I didn't want to take you on the bus. What would people think? Really, Jeff? We could perfectly well have gone on the bus. Lots of people did. You're not making yourself very popular. Popular? Well, that's just it. How can you be popular without a car? You don't know what the word popular means. Sick? <laughs> now you really will be sick. She sure told you off. <laughs> Boy, you're washed up. This is a pretty nice looking coat to be left on the stairs. Clothes don't make you popular. You didn't go to the party? I wanted to explain about breaking my promise. It was an emergency. Cars don't make you popular either. I see. You know, son, I've always looked on keeping promises as a sort of an ideal. But I've begun to realize that it isn't possible all the time. I figured you knew that sometimes even promises can't be kept. No, oh, what difference does it make? It seemed to make a lot of difference. Well, if you can't be popular with the right clothes and, and a car, how can you be popular? If you can't keep your promises to your own son, can you be an honest man? Dad, I, I'm all mixed up. What can I do now? Jeff, I was mixed up tonight, too. When I was driving your mother, I kept thinking about you and about the promise you thought I would keep. I wondered how I could face you. I wondered what you would think of me. You see what happens when we have ideals that aren't clear and sound? But why? Well, Jeff, Think about some other ideals, some big ideals that all men share. What about freedom? Isn't that an ideal we can all agree on? But what does it mean? Are you free to rob or free to kill? No. We need a clearly defined ideal, such as freedom of speech. Freedom of the press, freedom of religion. Even these may need to be clearer. For ideals must be clear. And when they are, how much they can lead us to achieve. Men with clear ideals have looked at prairies 
and transform them into great cities. Clear ideals have seen energy in rivers and put that energy to work. Only clear ideals could lift science from simple, crude experiments to the knowledge that serves mankind. And clear, compelling religious ideals have lifted men from primitive tribes to great, rich, full living. So you see, when ideals are sound and clear, they can help us to do some wonderful things. Even simple ideals, such as keeping promises or being popular, help us in the tremendously important business of getting along with other people. They help put things in the right perspective. And they serve as a challenge for us always to do better. I think I see. About the car, it's okay. How's Grandma? Grandmother's going to be all right. Uh, Dad, don't worry about me. I'll work out my ideal. Good night, Jeff. You know something, Stu? I wanted to be popular. But I never asked myself what it means. No, I... I've got to be clear about it. I've got to figure it out. Just what do I mean by popularity? And why is Ed Anderson so popular? Let's see. I've never thought about it, but he doesn't wear fancy clothes. Maybe it's because he's captain of the team. No. No, it isn't that alone. And he hasn't got a car either. <laughs> he uses the bus. No, it's, it's something else that makes Ed popular. And Mom and Dad, why are they popular? Loyalty, sincerity, and good sportsmanship. Now I'm beginning to understand. To be popular, I've got to have ideals like honesty and good sportsmanship and sincerity and loyalty. Those are ideals that I've really got to work for. How about that, Stu, old boy? To be honest and sincere, I've, I've got to write June an apology. It won't be easy, but, well, I know what to do now. She was right. I did know what popularity meant. Jeff is on the right track now. He has found the road. Yes, the way out of our difficulties is easier to find if our ideals, like headlights, are strong and clear. They lead us to a rich, full, and happy life. Can you depend on your ideals for the road that lies ahead?